736, four inches. 1236, four inches. That's a good Indian head penny signal there. And it's also a good mini ball signal, and I believe that's what it's going to be. Yeah, that's going to be a three ring mini. Looks like a fired one. Twelve forty seven. Nice clean high tone, but sounds like it's right on top of ground. Could be a can. Maybe not. Okay. What is that? Some kind of jewelry? It looks like silver. Well, 36 at 3 inches. Possible Indian head penny. Or a mini ball. I'm going to go with Indian. There we go, right there. Glasses on. Yeah, that's going to be an Indian. I can see his uh, headdress there, or her headdress. Well, it seems I've got a key spill here. I already got three out, and I've still got another signal here. We'll turn on the camera just in case. There's another one. And even more. Maybe there's something else in there with them. And another one. What do I do with the rest of them? And another two more. Those are some little short ones. Still more keys in there. And there's another one. I believe that's going to be it. 0944. 1044 right up against the root of that tree. What in the world is that? Looks like some kind of key cover maybe? I don't know. Twelve twelve, another nickel signal. And 
man, I see it right there. It is a nickel. What kind of nickel is that? My glasses on here. That's going to be a V nickel. A lot of those up here. Well, I just stumbled onto another bottle dump. Some old milk bottles. Fortunately, it looks like they're all busted. That one says Carling Black Label Beer. Anybody know how old that one is? I've never even heard of it. Still looking around that bottle dump. Got one here that's kind of odd looking. I don't see a brand on the outside, but on the bottom it says Property of Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Rome, Georgia. That one's kind of different. I think I'll take that one with me. And I got a regular Rome, Georgia Coke bottle, which I'll probably just leave here. Well, I just stumbled onto a mega bottle dump. Unfortunately, these don't look to be extremely old. I don't see any cork tops or anything. Looks like uh, probably mid-1900s or so. Yeah, most of these are all screw tops. Still look around for a few minutes. Royal Crown Cola. Also known as RC Cola. Tell me if you see anything worth grabbing and I'll come back and get it. Now that would have been cool. Yeah, I don't see anything too old. 1447 5 inches 1347 5 inches that's a really sweet sounding signal right there good chance this one will be a silver nope not a silver quarter it's a ring Well, it's not gold reading that high. That's got to be uh, gold-plated silver. <clears throat> Excuse me. I would think. I don't know. We'll get that cleaned up and take a better look at it. That's a heavy ring. Had an 0736 right here. It's basically just right on top of the ground. Sounds like something big. Maybe a little bigger than a coin. I don't know. That's a, uh, that's a knife. Old pocket knife. Check that out. That's actually pretty neat. I wonder if the other part of the, the scale for the other sides there. I don't see it. That is cool. 1133. 1033. Possible Indian head penny.
Well, that's a 22 casing, but that's not the signal. I don't think. Let's scan it again. 22 casing should read a lot lower than that. Yeah, I'm getting a clean 1034, which is an Indian signal. I'm showing about three inches deep. Right up against that tree. I have to work for this one. Alright, got it in her hand. No, that's a uh that's a mini ball. Looks like a drop one too. Yep, drop three ringer. Okay, let's keep going. Seven forty five, twelve forty five. If that's a silver, it's a shallow one. Be quiet. But it is a coin, is it silver? Can't tell what that is. Is that a clad or a... I think that's a foreign coin. So Jeff just got another first up here. First ever Barber Dime. And it's a 1911. Is there a mint mark? Uh, should be right below one dime there. There is. It's. Let's see. There you go. My glasses on here. Would be right in there if you had a mint mark on it. I don't see one, but anyway, congratulations, man. Well, 34, 5 inches, that's in the Indian range. No, that's actually a mini ball. Awesome. That's a dropped one too, so that's the kind I want to find. Yep, drop three ringer. Just got the uh, mini ball right there. And a few feet away, I got something reading 0638. Sounds like something bigger than a coin. And that's another pocket knife. Look at that. That's the second one of these I've found today. Looks like both blades are broke. Well, there's the other part of it right there. Remington, I think. Not very old. All right. Twelve thirty-two. Twelve thirty-three. Just below an Indian, right around a bullet, where a bullet would read. Ah, 
All right, right in there. And yeah, that's going to be a looks like a um, either a fired musket ball or a I think that's a fired musket ball. All right, Jeff is absolutely killing it today. He just got a half dime. Can you see a date on it yet? I haven't even really gone too far looking for a date. That is an absolute bucket lister there. That is outstanding, man. All right, we'll get it cleaned up and uh, see if we can get a date off of it. But hell yeah, man, congratulations. Awesome, thank you. Eleven thirty-six, four inches. Nope. What is that? Looks like some kind of little uh, pin. Get my glasses on, see what it says. That says 1934 Chicago. Looks like it's silver. Well, that's pretty neat. Check out this old tree. thing is massive hollowed out you said it got hit by lightning it's all charred inside is it yeah. okay so i just got a uh 1240 signal right there i didn't bother to film it because it was reading like a wheat penny but popped out a indian head penny in 1906 and i'm thinking since the signal was reading so high there could be more there no Looks like that's it. Twelve thirty-one. There we go. There's some kind of coin. And whatever that one is, it is worn. Looks like silver. I think that's going to be an old one. All right, let me get it cleaned up and I'll uh, show you a picture of it. I'm not even sure what it is yet. Okay, I just got a 1242 signal right there and dug out a wheat penny. And now I spun around to the other side. And got a little bit higher signal there. It's a 1343. But it's got that silver tone to it. So let's see what we got here. coin spill there's another probably gonna be another wheat give it a look real quick yep 
Yeah, so that's going to be another wheat penny. So let's scan the hole again and see if there's another signal in there. Something was giving off a little bit higher signal. Hopefully a coin spill with a silver. Yeah, definitely. You can hear can be another wheat penny right there. You hear the change in pitch, 11.44, five inches. Yeah, anybody who's been using the 3030 for a while will tell you that's the sound of silver, right, Kevin? Yep, there we go. Is it a Mercury or a Barber or what? It's going to be a Merc. I don't want to rub on it too much in case it's a 16D, but let's see if we can get a date. That one's got some wear on it. Looks like 19 teens. I can't tell what the date is, but anyway, we'll figure that out later. Thirteen thirty-two at six inches. And that one's going to be a musket ball. Yep, a little round ball. Twelve forty-three. Have a nice sound to it. It might even be silver. There it is right there. And it is a silver. Let's get the glasses on. Oh, that one's got a lot of wear on it. And that's just a really worn mercury dime. So I just got a 1226 signal right there and I figured it would probably be a shotgun shell because that's about where they read at on the CTX but I decided to dig it anyway and I'm glad I did because I popped out a buffalo nickel and then I scanned the hole again and got another signal and got a standing Liberty quarter. Looks like it's going to be a 1926 or a 1928. Either way, glad to have that one. Thank mm -hmm. you.